Good morning. Morning. Good morning from this beautiful location. Right, well, they don't even know where we're at, do they? No, I don't, we don't even told think, them yet. I don't even think we told you where we're at. So no. let's take you outside. It's beautiful because it's beautiful this morning. I'll show you exactly where we are. We've stayed here many a times before. We parked just here at the bottom of the Winnets Pass. Got Mantor just over there. And this is the old Mamto Road. We've got Susie behind us. And we've got the sunshine over there. So this is where we spent last night. And this is where we're going to spend tonight as well. And it's uh, warming up lovely. We've got Speedwell Caverns just across there. A little bit muddy on the grass verge. And uh, Catherine's going to go for a wander into Castleton in a minute for a look round while the weather's nice. So it's just me and Zach this morning, isn't it peaceful? Yeah. Just the birds tweeting and the lambs martyring and the sound of the odd aircraft. Yeah. But this place has got so many places of interest. And so many different caves, taverns. Yeah, caverns, when we were last everything. here, at the top of the road, there's some like little old caverns and Zach and Steve were looking round them. And you've just been researching them, haven't you, to see what they are? Yeah, and one of them at the very top, which we, me and Dad stepped into a little bit, but they've kind of sealed it off now with little metal gates and stuff to stop you from getting hurt and stuff in mm. there. Um, we, I just looked up what it was used for. What's it called? The Odin Mine. It's called Odin Mine. That's the name of it, Odin mm. Mine. It's the only one called Odin Mine and uh, it was used to build the road between Sheffield and Manchester. How fascinating is that? Yeah. And that was what, just pre-World War I? Uh, yeah, it was, it, it was used in the early years of the 20th century, so yeah. but just a bit before one World War I. Yeah. How fascinating. It's amazing what you come across and you think, oh, it's a little cave. And it's actually not. There's so much more to it. Yeah. Look ahead, the sea is calm. And I know we've been through a lot, but just wait. For better days to come and carry us like wind in our sails Hold on tight I can smell the shore, it's right in front of us if we just Hold on tight This vision that I saw is getting closer every dawn times we walk through here we never really stop and read little signs do we no and they're really interesting this i mean this is just this is just a grass field to look at but when you read what it actually was it's called town ditch field the remains of the medieval town ditch which surrounded castleton are visible in this field it was formed late 11th century mm. you never stop to read little things and it just caught my eye no so right in the little town centre, it's only a small place, but everywhere is dog friendly, isn't it? Yeah. Everywhere welcomes dogs. There's doggy bowls, little signs saying, bring your furries in. Lots of nice pubs to choose from. It's a busy road though. Beautiful little jewellers, cafes, cracking fish and chip shop. Oh, they've got some lovely stuff in there. They're so pretty. Little mouses on mushrooms and toadstools. Aren't they lovely. Got some Jewelry. Marble stuff. Oh, look at the glass sheep. That's so cute. All these different marble bottles and vases. Very pretty things. Gosh, it's busy, isn't it? Mm. Honestly, there's coach load after coach load of people yeah, full of hiking equipment and. More, more younger people, I think, so like college sort of age. There's school mm. trips, there's all sorts going on today, so just struggling to get the camera around because obviously you can't film school children or anything like that, but we're stood in the green at the minute and it's bustling. Mm. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. I've never seen so many people for a midweek day as well. 
But the old barn, should we go and have a nosy through the window? Yeah. Go and see what's on in there. All ready for Easter, all the Easter bunnies. And as we were saying earlier, dog friendly. Yeah, dog friendly again. We've got some lovely little things in. Some old fashioned games, look. Classic drafts, dominoes. <laughs> Do you think I should buy this? Don't just have one more pound. That one? Yeah, I don't think that one. Love this. Some lovely things in here. These are one pound. I think it was the last one. What are you trying to do with the eyes? Not much room in here, is there? I feel sorry. That was a great little shot, wasn't it? Yeah. Go on, what did you find? What, the cup? <laughs> yeah. There was a cup in there that said, this is for a rotten, spoiled dog called Dipstick. <laughs> <laughs> they got some fabulous stuff in there. Yeah. Really, some, really nice. They got like uh, the lead covers to cover the leads and with some funny <clears throat> messages on them. Some unrepeatable yes. messages on them. <laughs> There's some wicked names. <laughs> Never actually been up to it, but it looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, looks real. I didn't realise it. It went underground. I thought it was just the bit that you climb up the hill and there's like some ruins on the top. Sorry about that, but the sun's but right there. It is. The, the, the sun's really, really bright. Not complaining though, are we? Because it's no. not raining. It's nice and hot as well. It's a beautiful day just to wander. Love just wandering. Mm. Nice, peaceful. Look at this cave cinema experience. We've got the Goonies. Love that film, Labyrinth. That's another old classic. With David Bowie. Back to the Future. Yeah, wow. Oh, that's cool. And to see it's up there, it's a pop up cinema up in the cave. Yeah. Peak Cavern Castleton. How cool is that? It's called thevillagescreen.com. <laughs> cave cinema experiences. Hmm. Very cool. It's quite nice. We've got human birds out, haven't we? Yeah. We just spotted them. They're all just taking off from the top of the hill. I don't know if you can actually pick them up from here on the GoPro. But they're all coming off of that ledge up there. It's all hang the gliding. That's the very top of Mantor. Yeah. All just floating round. That must be such a nice feeling up there. One went off somewhere behind us, but we don't know where he He did. Went. One went off completely on his own, away we, from everybody else. He went off that way somewhere yeah. behind the camera, but now we don't know where he's gone. There was five <coughs> of them, now there's only four, and we can't see another one. <laughs> He'll have probably come down and landed somewhere different, won't he? <coughs> yeah. But it's been a lovely mooch about, hasn't it? Yeah. Just really slow and chilled and just <coughs> moseying around in the sunshine. Mm. Better than just sitting in the van. Yeah, Just hear the, hear the birds in the background. <laughs> yeah. Tweet, tweet, tweet. There's, there's not been a lot of traffic up here, to be fair, has there, mm. since we've been here? It's been really quiet. We did have a fire truck at about eight o'clock last night. Oh, gosh, night. them two got a bit close then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had a fire truck come flying up under blues and twos <coughs> last night. Oh, God, those two um, just got... I know, they're getting ever so close. They're getting, like, a few inches from each other. <laughs> um, and then he came back down about 20 minutes later without the lights on, so quite what happened i don't know because it's obviously it's a dead end up here ah. but hey ho hope everybody was all right mm. they must have been because he came back down slowly so <sighs> right cup of time Some paragliders up there today they are paragliders wow the good looks how many there are now how many there is there up there there was about half a dozen when me and zach looked earlier yeah. what we got one Coming two three four five six here. seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty four two two three twenty four plus the one that's landed two wow there. Three even. Three down there. So we're going to take the dogs for a walk while it's nice. The sniffs, we're not getting very far. There's two good yes. sniffs. <laughs> and we have got Suzanne with us. Yeah, again. For the e glide viewer. I know. That's Come on, her. Friday. God, we'll be glad of some peace. Yeah. <laughs> we're hopefully getting rid of her Friday. You are getting rid of me. Oh, hang on. Doggy tangle. <coughs> We've got a doggy tangle. <laughs> uh, just met a lovely guy back there. Yes. Who watches us on uh, YouTube? Yeah. So um, keep hello. getting out and about doing what you're doing. Yes, keep getting out and about in that van. The fresh air and the sunshine does the mind a world of good. We love it, don't yeah, we? Yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah, they're all coming off at top of Mantor there, look. Mm. You see them? Yeah. See them I can all, see like little ants walking across down. the top, yeah. 
I'm coming into land. I've never ever seen so many in one spot, ever. Fancy a go? No. <laughs> she Come would. Soon. Yeah, I'll do yeah. it. Suze would. Come on, oh, Suze. that sheep look You run, do it. Let's go up you there. You have to climb up there first. Oh, look oh. at that sheep, you squidgy <laughs> face. Bless it. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Bye, sheepy. Does annoy me. We've never walked down this bit before, have no. we? No. We've walked up there. We actually made it up Mantle. We did, right to the top. Uh, it's on video as well. That was we a. Oh, we did film it, yeah. Yeah, it was a few years ago. We walked yeah. up from the broken road at the top there, mm -hmm. and we walked all the way up and went all the way across the top of there. Yeah, we'd only been going ten minutes, and I slipped on my backside. Yeah, had to do the whole walk covered in wet, soggy mud. Twenty twenty, I think <coughs> it was. Back on the the videos mm. when we're in the sprinter van. Don't go and watch it because I was horrendous back then. Still <laughs> 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 are. Right, that's it. Not cooking any more food now. <laughs> right, no tea for Sue's. <laughs> We're landing just down here. Let's watch one come into land. Oh, it's a big bee. Yeah, it's going to land on Catherine. <laughs> big bee. It was about I to don't land. Mind. They're not here yet. One to the rest. Oh, I'm going to ask him if Catherine can have a go. Uh, no. Don't you dare do a Del Boy on me, ever. Go on, Steve. Get on it. It's going to land on flag. <laughs> Must be over when you come down you get a bit more lift and then you've got to go and then walk all the way back up. <laughs> we saw what we saw one doing it yesterday, look how many there is now look. Loads of them. So me and Suze are having de a debate about how hard it can be. Oh you need lessons. You she says we need lessons. Put a parachute on or jump off a mountain. You jump off, you'd learn on the way down, trust me. <laughs> yeah you would quickly. Because if you didn't learn, <laughs> you wouldn't land very well. <laughs> Splat. I wonder if it's comfy sat in them baskets. Mm -hmm. It's like a backpack, isn't it? <coughs> like sat in the backpack where it all goes in. They don't have engines, these ones, do they? No, paragliders. No. Uh, are they paragliders, parasites, parasols? I'm sure somebody will tell us the difference. Yeah. I think paragliders have the engines on the back, don't they? I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure they do. I'm going to risk it and go across the cattle grid. It's a lovely stream down here. But somebody, not pointing any fingers at anybody. Don't you point that finger at me? Hasn't come with suitable footwear on. What is, Wally? It's a pavement. They sound, what did I say? <laughs> Put your walking boots on. Sorry, Sensible Stephen, look, walking boots on. Makes a change, doesn't it? Unsensible Susan. <laughs> Sus can't get down there in the trainers. We'll leave her behind then. Yeah, I'll go back. Yeah, so I would have liked to have gone to a nice long walk, but Nobber here didn't bring her boots. Did you? No. You don't have to wait for me. I'm capable of looking after myself. <laughs> <laughs> Get some logs off of there, look. Can I mm. fire pit out later? So we had to bring the dogs back because they've only got little legs, haven't they? They're all old and doddery. They're all old and doddering about. They are. So they're all they're all happy because they've all had a nice walk, haven't they? I think they? we're gonna take you round to the end of the road because yeah. this road only goes so far and then it all collapsed where it used to go round. Yeah. But yeah, so we're getting some good height up out there, look. Yeah. Lots of them. Yeah, it certainly is. I want to do it. It's like a little swarm. You can do it for me, I'm I'd not love bothered. I to do it. I will just keep my feet firmly on the ground. He's touching on red, isn't he? It is beautiful. Isn't it? Yeah, it's on my coat off. I've took my coat off, <laughs> but I brought it with me because it goes a little bit nippers when you get in that shade. Yeah. I hope we've got a police aware oh, sticker yeah. on this car. Ooh. I'm not Mercedes. I would leave that there. I don't know. What does that mean? Police are where it's being dumped. Dump? Oh. Or just dumped yeah. or... Well they do that sometimes, don't they? Park them off and see if they get tracked. Yeah. They're definitely having fun up there. God they are. 
But we think we're going to do this tomorrow, don't we? Yeah. One of the caverns. Yeah, Zach's really interested in them and he said he'd really like to do this one. There's, I think, four or five caverns. There's Blue John Cavern, Speedwell. Yeah. Tree Cliff Cavern, Devil's Arse, over that way. Yeah. He's proper low to it. Probably are, he is, isn't he? Crikey. A bit too low. Unless he's gonna he's gonna land up there in team maybe. Yeah he will come across here. Oh. Yeah so that's the plan for tomorrow. Yeah, why not? Let's go take you down a cavern. <laughs> not very often we treat ourselves, is it? <coughs> me, you can touch the floor. Huh. Yeah that's what you're doing then he'll come across here. Down to where the Ooh, look at it waggling there. about in the wind. It's like yanking him forwards and backwards. Yeah. <laughs> some of them have got some good height mm. um, yeah these guys all know Zach was uh, telling us all about the opium mines earlier and what they were actually used for it's fascinating and he loves researching stuff like that he absolutely loves it but yeah he, he knew all the stuff about it when it was dug out and what it was used for and very clever lad plenty of plenty of all places to park along here as well yeah up here yeah down there literally all the way down to the bottom right, this down to the dead up. end yeah. then you've got the road higher up there where we've stopped before so no shortage of it does get full in summer though doesn't it oh yeah or at a weekend yeah. obviously we're on midweek so yeah you can see where the full timers are <laughs> <laughs> and there's mam tour up there I'm not allowed to call it Mam Tour, am I? Tour. Mam, Mam Tour. Right at that tip there. Now if you want to get up there, you can walk up here. Walk up there. The easiest way is around the other side to walk. What can we see off here? You can hear the river running. I'm surprised there's no vans parked up around here. There normally is. Mm. Some of these even more broken roaded. A bit of dumped a bit of roadie there. Huh. I bet it's got worse since I was lost a bit. Yeah. Yeah, the other road yeah, is mine. up over there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this is what Zach was explaining about to everybody earlier. Odin oh mine. yeah, we've been in there before. Yeah. Have you been in it? You and Zach. You can went go back. inside that cliff. Yeah, in. I've been up to it. Inside there. Odin mine. Got a few stickers. We didn't bring on one. Here. Urban van life. Road zone. There's only road zone I know. It's urban Shaz van life. Shaz and Daz. Oh, Shaz and Daz. We know them. That's it, a lot of them have gone. Yeah, yeah they van. have. Van life wannabe. Not heard of that one. Oh, Gap Adventures, they're nice. Pair of gloves, anybody? Oh, definitely don't need your coat today. No. Want a bit of tarmac in here. Look, council have been up here. <laughs> <laughs> Done this where the old That's road where was. Dumped that out, Bob. Yeah. By the looks of it, yeah. dumped it there and slapped a bit of tarmac in. Are you loving it? Yeah. Such glorious weather, and Beautiful. it's just makes you glad to be alive like this, doesn't it? Good morning everybody, how are we all this morning? It's morning! A bit of a foggy one this morning and as you can probably tell we've actually switched cameras this morning. Yes! So we switched to the Sony because we're heading to the caverns. Yes, we've we treated ourselves Which for day cavern out. is it? Teak? T uh, Treak Caverns. Treak Cliff Caverns. Treak Cliff Caverns. I can see the sign over there. <laughs> that corner of my eye. So yeah, we're uh, just getting ready now, boots on and then we're going to yep. head up there for 10.50 I think. Yes. For some reason it's £10 cheaper to go then for all four Before of Before 11 o'clock. Yeah, so let's head over there now. Yes, treat day. Treat cliff caverns. We've just got to walk up a million feet. <coughs> up there. <coughs> Come on, Zach. Uh, Come here. Up I'm the stairways to heaven. <laughs> Cracking view from up here. Van's just over there. Catherine's down there with Zach. Bit of a climb. We've got the lovely Suzanne with us. What a view. Shame it's a bit misty. Come on, it's only a few more steps. 
It's higher up than you think, isn't it? It certainly is. <laughs> and it's mainly steps. It's dark. It's dark in here. It's a uh, low head down here. I have to duck a bit. Oh, find my head. I've got water like a crab in here. <laughs> Oh, it's low here. <laughs> it is even for me. Maybe not claustrophobic. <laughs> oh, you get a shower here, we've just had a shower. Oh, I can stand up now. Pull me back. <laughs> French people made items from Blue John. Blue and yellow stone. Which is French for bleu. Bleu as you am. And Derbyshire people mispronounce it as More steps. Look how wet it all is. Oh my god, that's so It'll leave Vane. It just goes up. Up it? again. Gosh. Up to Ridley Vane. I presume it goes up and round and back down. Only Vane yeah. to be discovered in 150 years, named after the person who discovered it, Gary Ridley. We're going right up, look. Oh, wow. So these fossils are 330 million years old, look. Wow. Yeah. Gosh, look at them. Can you see them? There's two there. See any more? Oh no. They're all over. <coughs> Looks like we've got some more steps to go up, Zach. <laughs> Stop here for a fossil case. This is like the fourth stairs we have to go up. Wow, look at these. This is a big opening here. Some like white stones here. going through. Look at these. Wow, look at this. It always looks very slimy. <laughs> These rocks here are all loose. <laughs> Massive, isn't it? It's absolutely incredible. I think we found the end. Yeah, so when all the lights are out, the shadow formations on the rocks make a shadow of a witch with a long pointy nose, which gave it the name the Witch's Cavern. Well, we can't see it because the lights are on. Yes, <laughs> now the lights are off, we can see the witch. So this is the exit, so we must come out higher up. I know where we come out, but where, where them steps were. What's that? There were some steps that went up past the cavern. So you can go up to my top? Yeah. Oh, we're out. Wow. Yeah, that's exactly where we've come out. Right up here. Yeah, what's the bunker for, do we know? But yeah, this is what we can see. Where's the band? We went in through there. Yeah, 
<laughs> We're up this path. The vans are over there. So I've just played the last section of the audio tour and it's a good job I didn't tell you this before we came through it. <laughs> this little piece of um, cave here where you have to duck under inhabits over 700 cave spiders. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can you just check? Can we back in? <laughs> <laughs> on there? Yeah, <laughs> apparartly you don't often see them, but if you do, you're very lucky. So yeah, you've, I you've can see one. There's one on Susie's back. I don't like spiders. <laughs> <laughs> right, we just need to go all the way back down now. I yeah. thought it'd bring you out in the shop, wouldn't you? But yeah, but there's lots of ups and downs and a lot more stairs to get back the other way than just by. At least it's all downhill now, is that? All the time we've been coming in. I know. <laughs> I wish I'd not cut my hair before I come out. Oof. You go code head, lad. It is very, very cold, <laughs> that air up here. <laughs> we've got a bit of hiking in as well. Yeah, I'm really glad we did that. And if you book online, you do get it quite a bit cheaper. Yeah, it was £40 for the four of us, wasn't it? £43 for the four of us. And 43. you get it's a £3 each discount if you pre-book. Yeah. Did you see all the uh, old mining gear down there? Yeah. Mm. Look at the jacket. Oh wow. Me too. <laughs> I'll take the I'll take the tiger. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the bear? They're oh, happy, aren't they? I like this dragon head. Let me know if you need the ladies' toilets opening. I think they've just been closed off today. The fans are shoes. That's what done. Fans are shoes. Mm. <laughs> So we found a moving molehill and we're all fascinated by it, <laughs> waiting for it to come out. I know, it's like it gets, goes quiet for a minute and then all of a sudden all the earth starts shoving up. It's gone back in now. He hasn't, it? look, it's moving, oh. look. Oh, there oh. we go. Oh. oh. I drew my hair. <laughs> well, I'm not sure what's happened to the weather, but I know Suzanne was singing in the shower this morning. <laughs> Aren't you? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> no. There's some strange noises coming from there. Look, look. Mr. Morley's coming to say hello. It looks like he's right in the top, it doesn't it? Yeah. Like, because it's like pressing up like that and it looks <laughs> like he's under there and he probably is. Well, that was a nice trip to the cavern, wasn't oh, it? Oh, it's been lovely. It's been a good day, hasn't it? Yeah. All the years we've come here, mm over the last 20 odd years yeah and uh, well i've never been in one kathy's been in one at school were not you yeah i did a school trip when i was about zach's age but yeah not since then yeah we haven't bothered there's i think there's four or five round here caverns yeah. different ones you can go in yeah um i think that's the cheapest one i'm not sure it is the cheapest one yeah um still not pretty impressive oh we'll, god it really we'll is we'll do the other ones eventually yeah yeah but it was zach's choice to start with this <coughs> one um, yeah. And it's fifteen pound for an adult, but if you book online, it's only twelve. Yeah, so you save a bit of money, and if you book earlier in the day, it's before eleven a.m. It's even cheaper because the price goes up from eleven a.m. So we saved another tenner by booking for an earlier slot. It is, yes. So uh, it's, um, yeah, it's been a lovely day. It's really been a nice. nice few days here. Yeah. Um, but we were saying it yesterday about parking on this road. Mm. The cars fly up and down. Oh, they make the van shake. The, the speed they drive. And when we was up there, we could see a car down the road. Mm. We've not videoed it. It's up pictures yeah. of it. But basically, seat hazards on. Basically, an electric car's flown down the road and mm. hit a transit van, mm -hmm. and it's Camper hit it van. that hard. It's pushed it onto the path. It's pushed it about ten foot down the road and yeah. up over a four to six inch curb yeah, and down the embankment. It's destroyed the transit and somebody yeah. lives in it. Yeah, they, we've just been talking to the poor lady and she actually lives and <coughs> works from her van with a dog. Yeah. And thankfully at the time she, she was, was out, out walking the dog. Um, mm. That would have it would have thrown her across the van. The guy in an electric car said he was going yeah. 20 mile an hour. You want to see where well we should have took a photograph but mm. the transit it's really moved it. To, it's, it's moved it onto the path. Yeah. The transit, yeah, it actually moved it, like and it spun the electric car round. Yeah, so yeah, it, it's he destroyed the front end of the car, so we ain't hit that at twenty mile an hour. I can see a drone going across. Can you? Is it a drone? No well, idea. Uh, it's like a drone going across. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so um, well, everybody's all right. <coughs> that's the main thing. Yeah, just one guy, and he's only in an electric mm. car. Says, oh, he, apparently. Another guy down there said he reckoned he was going 20 mile an hour. He says there's no way to move that van that far. It's like, yeah, <laughs> you can see that. Yeah. But anyway, 
it, yeah, it's one thing about parking down here, you mm. know, you'll be careful of things like that. I think there's a, a risk to parking anywhere anyway, isn't there, on the side oh, of, of the road? Of course there is. There's I always mean, that risk. You, you see you see on news on telly and that where a car's gone into somebody's house. I yeah. mean, if you're in a house, you'd never expect a car to run oh, into God, you. Oh, God, no. No. But, you know, it, no, just, not it, at all. it just happens and uh, we're just glad it's not our van. Yeah, yeah, it, it very well could have the, been poor woman whose van it was yeah but she's she's very calm about it all and <coughs> you know she was saying she was just telling us thankfully she's renewed her aa and she wasn't gonna do and the aa will recover her from an accident so right yeah but she's got another three hours to wait so i've told her the kettle's on if she needs anything so she's just gonna definitely she's gonna come up is she yeah yeah she says she might pop up in a bit for a cuppa because she's she, right. she can't put hers on because it's on the side that got hit yeah, it's on top of me. I can't believe how far it's moved it, yeah. but yeah, it's like, yeah, you weren't going 20 mile an hour, we're like 50 or 60. Yeah. Now, it is a, I think it is rated at 60 mile an hour, this road, but... But you, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, because there's yeah, vans parked vans on both everywhere. sides mm. of the road. And people mm. with dogs. Pe and yeah, people walking, the school trips all the time, up and down. Mm. Just to go down the road, you have to swerve round the vans, mm. just because... Well, yeah. um, we've enjoyed our time here we've enjoyed yeah. spending uh, a few more days with Suzanne yeah. just yeah. Hel helping her out mm -hmm. basically uh, but she's going to be heading off on her way yes yeah, she's leaving tomorrow. us tomorrow isn't she that's it she's mm -hmm. going we're going to be sad but yeah make sure you go and check out Suzanne's channel for mm -hmm. her bless her because she yeah. is so genuine and down to earth no she is she really um, is and she's going to be completing solo van life from now on yes she's um, going to carry on recording for her own channel she's got herself a job heading off but we, we're not mm. going to tell you about that you can mm -hmm. find out on her channel if you yeah. want so there'll be a link in the description to her channel yep and i also want to thank the people that bought us coffees this week thank, thank you very, very much. much everybody much uh, appreciated we're going to end this video here we are leaving here tomorrow i'm mm -hmm. uh, not quite sure where we're going yet because no, no. we need to hem ed Homish way we'll call it mm -hmm. to pick up some parcels mm -hmm. um but i had an email today about another e-bike review and it's like well mm. before we go away and it's like so we've got that coming next week yeah so uh, yeah. we want to thank you all for watching as always and i hope you've enjoyed a bit of seeing a bit of castleton yeah well yeah. a little bit around where we've parked <laughs> and the tavern the ca tavern cavern 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 Switch thinking at pub now. <laughs> Yeah, so thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. See you in the next one.